All right, uh, I'm going to be reading this from the New World Translation. I typed it out here so I could see it better. But a certain man was rich, and he used to deck himself with purple and linen, enjoying himself from day to day with magnific magnificence. But a certain beggar named Lazarus used to be put at his gate, full of ulcers, and desiring to be to filled with the things dropping from the table of the rich man, yes, too, the dogs would come and lick his ulcers. Now in course of time the beggar died, and he was carried off by the angels to the bosom of Abraham. Also the rich man died and was buried. And in Hades he lifted up his eyes, he existing in torments. And he saw Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in the bosom with him. And he called out and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus to dip his, the finger, the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, because I am in anguish in the blazing fire. But Abraham said, Child, remember that you received in full your good things in your lifetime. But Lazarus, correspondingly, the injurious things, now, however, he is having comfort here, but you are in anguish. And besides all these things, a great chasm has been fixed between us and you people, so that those who wanted, wanting to go over from here to you people cannot. Neither may people cross over from here to us. Then he said, In that event I ask you, Father, to send him to the house of my father. For I have five brothers in order that he may give them a thorough witness that they also should not get into this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets, let them listen to these. Then he said, No, indeed, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. But he said to, the, to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, Neither will they, list, will they be persuaded if someone raises from the dead. Now I know that your position on death is that when you die, you go into a state of non-existence or sleeping, and you're not awake, awakened until the resurrection. Well, how do you explain this scripture? Especially, it's not a, it's not a parable doesn't say anything anywhere here that's a parable. And even in your own New World Translation, which is, okay, an interesting translation, it says, but a certain rich man. It doesn't say, the King James says it was, there was a rich man. It doesn't say it's likened unto, which is like a parable. It's always likened to or explained somewhere that's a parable. It doesn't say anywhere here that it's a parable. Um, so it says that he was thrown into Hades. So Hades is a place of torment. He's existing in torment, which also corresponds with Revelations 19:20. Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet who worked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And then later it says, in Revelation 20 and 10, The devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. doesn't sound like they're asleep or have been annihilated. It sounds like they are there in torment forever and ever. So, if I'm not right about this, please help me understand. Thank you.